Welcome to Mastery Math. My name is Julia Cox and today the focus is going to be on fractions of 4.3 D. Compare two fractions with different numerators and different denominators and represent the comparisons using the symbols greater, equal, and less than. So let's go ahead and start. Greater than means the Pac-Man is eating the larger fraction in this case because that's what we're going to be working on. Less than, the arrow is pointing towards the lesser number. And equal means the same amount. So let's go ahead and get started. I'll erase this. I just want to make sure that you understand that. Okay, so the first one we're going to do is 3 eighths and 5 twelfths. And we're trying to find out which one is going to be greater, less than, or are they going to be equivalent? So the first thing you'll do is get the model set up. So we have five twelfths. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm doing it by unit fractions, meaning the smallest piece and I'm uh, composing them by doing this. And then I have uh, 3 out of 8. So 3 out of 8. Now, looking at the model, can you zoom in on this so they can see? Looking at the model, you can see that 5 twelfths is more than 3 eighths. And what did we say about Pac-Man, Pac-Man eats the larger number. And in this case, it's going to eat the fraction that's larger. And we can see that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 twelfths is larger than 3 eighths. And we have it written this way with 3 eighths on this side. So we know the arrow is going to point towards the smaller fraction. So 3 eighths, when we're reading this from left to right, 3 eighths is less than 5 twelfths. Now let me take a look at this to see if there was anything else they wanted to do. Okay, so it says that we need to, using the symbols, okay, so we use the symbol, which is 3 eighths is less than 5 twelfths. Okay, let's go ahead and try another one. So what about three six and one half? So I'm going to bring the three six up and then we're going to do the one half. Oh wait a second. What do you notice there? They're the same amount. So they're going to be equivalent. And if we wanted to check that, we can divide 3 by 3, and that gives us 1, and 6 divided by 3 gives us half. So therefore, we know we're correct. Or if we go this way, 1 times 3 is 3, and 2 times 3 is 6. So therefore, we know that uh, they're equivalent, the same amount. Now let's try another one. Let's try four tenths and one third. Four tenths and one third. So four tenths and one third. And as you can see, four tenths is greater than one third. So four tenths is greater than one third. When you're looking at that, you can see that four tenths is more than one third. The fraction is more. Okay, so now I'm going to move this out of the way. And I'm going to show you something else that you can do to help you with this. Uh, I've told students before that you can set this up, which, you know, it'll be... You can find a, a that was four tenths and one third. 
So what you could do is you could find a common denominator of both, which I tell students, you multiply the denominator by each other, so 10 times 3 or 3 times uh, 10 gives you 30. So we would set this up and then find out what the uh, missing uh, variable is, meaning the missing number. So then we would look at this and see. So we know that uh, 30 divided by 3, or what is it that we would have to do to uh, get from 3 to 30? We would have to multiply by 10. So whatever we do to the bottom, we have to do to the top. So 3 times 10 gives us 30. 1 times 10 gives us 10. Then we look at this one, and we know We know that 10 times 3 gives us 30, and we know that 4 times 3 gives us 12. And then we look at it and we see, which one is more, 12 out of 30 or 10 out of 30? We know that 12 out of 30 is more, so therefore we know that 4 tenths is larger than 1 third. That's a good way of doing that. So let's try, uh, go ahead and if you would like, I'm going to go ahead and uh, write one more and then you see if you can figure it out that way by using a common denominator. So let's try, let's see, 3 eighths by 2 fourths. If you like to um, pause, you can do that. I can see by looking at this that I can, uh, I know that um, I can get to eight by using four. So I'm going to use my uh, uh, common denominator of eight. I'm going to leave this as three eighths. I'm going to change that to eight. And I know that four times two, four times two gives me eight, and two times two gives me four. So I know that four eighths is larger than three eighths. So I know that two fourths is larger than three eighths. So let's go ahead and visually look at that. Two fourths. and three-eighths. And we can visually see that, that two-fourths is larger than three out of eight. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you like the video, click like, share, subscribe. If uh, you have any comments or suggestions, please post that. If you have any recommendations for future videos that you would like me to post, please leave something in the comments or suggestions. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Have a wonderful evening.